What's up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button and lets me know and it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. So let's go see what we can find this week. Seven bucks, we got the Nike Earl Campbell jersey. Size 2XL, they want seven bucks size XL. Or it's 2XL. And then you on the back, you got number 20 Campbell, all stitched. And then I also found the uh, Nike crew neck, size large for nine bucks on the old Nike tag. You got the mini swoosh, so not too bad of finds in this store. Here's this women's windbreaker that I thought was pretty cool. Um, size large for $4.99. It has like the sun, the moon, like all these cool graphics on it and the colorway is pretty cool. So for five bucks, I think it's worth it. Probably can sell it for like $20, $25. And then here's this $19.99 Wise Men crew neck. And that one's a large for $2.99 on the Lee tag. Polo Sport long sleeve tee, size large for $2.99. And then on the sleeve, you got Ralph Lauren 2002. Found a pair of New Balance 990s. Pretty dirty, but I think most of this can be cleaned up. And they're asking $7 on those. And those are a size 11 and a half. So I found this ski suit. It's uh, by Tipsy Elves. They want $30 for it. But I think it's worth it. Like all the ones I've seen sell on eBay sell for like 150 to 200 And it's a size medium. I don't know. The design is crazy too. Here's this pair of Vapor Maxes. They want 15 bucks for them. They look like they're on their way out already. So I'm probably going to pass on them. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Found a couple of Power Ranger Megazords, which is really cool. I never find these anymore. Got the T-Rex and then it has like the Macedon on it. But the Macedon's missing pieces and this one's really rough. They want eight bucks for that one. And then for six bucks, we got the Frog Zord from the uh, first Power Rangers movie. You know, Adam gets upset when he finds out he's a frog. Adam, what's wrong? I'm a frog. Six bucks in better shape than that one, but eh. Here's a couple snapbacks, nothing crazy, but they're only two bucks each. Spec built. And this one's like, um, kind of looks like a surf style, the way the color shifts. And then the Kindle motor oil racing one. It's been a while, but the shoe section at this store finally came through. Found two pairs. We got this pair of women's dunks. I'm pretty sure these are women's. I remember my cousin having these back in the day for $13. They're a little misshapen, but eh, I think they can be fixed. And then we got a pair of the hair Jordan 6s. And these are just dirty, really. Like, other than that, they're not too bad for 20 bucks. This Nautica Competition Crew Neck's pretty clean. Size large, $8.99. You have the big Nautica USA patch and then competition on the sleeve. I just don't know about for $8.99, though. Also found this Matchbook Romance hoodie. I guess it was a band. Uh, size medium for $6.99. On, like, that mid-2000s Hanes tag. What do you guys know about the Handy Boy? <laughs> about the struggles that we used to have. Cause you know, the older Game Boys didn't have a backlight. So this has the light, it has the speakers and it has a magnifying glass for the original Game Boy <laughs> for seven bucks. Here's something you don't see every day, Switch games. Not too bad either, price-wise. Price Found the vintage uh, Cheetah Endangered crew neck. Missing the um, size tag. They want seven bucks for it though. Well guys, y'all want to see the downfall of wearing a shoe from over 10 years ago? So I picked these up at the flea market, right? 35 bucks uh, this past weekend. Wore them. I've had them on for about an hour. Look at that. So now I gotta go home and change my shoes before I go anywhere else. I know Tommy's not really like where it used to be but this one's pretty clean this tommy sweater you got like the fisherman on it um size medium for 13 bucks here's a pair of dunk highs size 12 from 2012 i think that's what it says the tags kind of faded um i'm pretty sure they call these like the unpigeons or something like that they only want 13 bucks from them not too bad they just need a good cleaning the winnie the pooh crew neck they want 8.99 for it though Disneyland Resort size XL. This Nike SB hoodie is kind of cool with the floral print, but they want $15 for it, size large. This one would have been pretty cool. This 1993 State Rodeo Finals jacket, $8.99 XL, but it's like covered in stains. So I'm not too sure on that one. So there's a Donkey Kong in there, right? And then there's also an Austin Powers, but I'm not paying $25 to have all this nonsense. <laughs> so this would have been a great find, these Kobe 8s. But they both have huge holes ripped in the side of them. And to make matters worse, they're asking $17 on them. Not to mention the separation. The Celtic Teak's cool, but they want $7 for it, size 2XL. 
where winning together happens. Chicago won mid black toes for 15 bucks. They're actually still in really good shape. They're just muddy. And then I also found a Halo Mega Block set. They're brand new. We got the Polo Sport Windbreaker. We got the spell out on the sleeve. Unfortunately, though, they want $17 for that one. You can never go wrong with the royal blue and yellow. But it looks like these just don't go for what they used to. Remember when I said I find nothing but LSU Tiger stuff? Well, here's another one. But this one actually has a twist. You got the March Madness Finals on the front. That one's an XL for $1.99. But what makes this one cool is on the back. You got the uh, EA Sports NCAA March Madness 2005 logo. Oh, definitely scooping this one up for only two bucks. And then check out this nice little stack of hats I found. So the first one we got is the ice cream hat, three bucks. Then we got the Alien vs. Predator 2 one. And that one is three bucks as well. And then last but not least, we got the X-Files hat. And that one is two bucks. All right, so I found a pair of these Jordan 1s, right? First of all, it's been a long time since I've seen a pair of these. I think these are like premium something. I forget what they're called. Anyway, I flipped them over to look at the price, and I thought I was seeing things. They want $90 for these. What are these people smoking? A pair of these little tiny Jordan 6s. They have like a flower on them. They want $25 for these. Price is a little outrageous in this store today. You guys remember when Smosh was actually good? found the um, Anthony Padilla bobblehead. They want $6.99 for it, but there's only one on eBay that somebody's asking like $95 for, so eh, figure it's an okay deal. So unfortunately, I got beat by like two seconds to a bull's jacket that they just pulled out on the rack, which kind of sucks, but that's just how it goes. <laughs> but, I, but I did find these though. The NASCAR JH Designs, they went 30 bucks for that one though. Now on the back, you got the Farmer's Insurance. And then for 25, the Carhartt size 2 XL on that one. For only two bucks, I found the Alienation T size large. On the front, you got A, final answer. Then on the back, you got wrong, final answer, Nader. <laughs> and then I also found the um, Anger Management Tour T from 2005. And then on the back, you got Eminem, 50 Cent, and Little John. Two bucks size large. These are cool. These uh, old school team and FL t uh, shoes. They're a size five and a half though. Of course you got the best team the dallas cowboys but 20 bucks though so. all right guys that's gonna bring us to the end of this week's trip to thrift i'm actually at taco bell about to get something to eat and i'm gonna go home and edit this video for you guys but if you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button subscribe and drop a comment and i'll see you guys next week with another one later